Mike Todd Arts with ESPN. Yeah. Um, how do you explain that game? Just the way I don't you explain the game. Yeah. Well, it was a good home win. Uh, completes a you know regular season win all your home games. Uh, that's that's a good place to be. Um, but you know I, we talked all week about it and we uh, you know felt these guys were um, extremely tough opponent. Um, I, I thought they you know played us extremely aggressive um, defensively. You know a lot of pressure. Um, we you know had a lot of you know, uh, uphill, down in distances throughout the game. Our guys just kept battling, overcoming it. Uh, defense had the big takeaways and in the two point. <laughs> I mean, that was in a two point extravaganza, you know, that uh, looked like training camp. Um, you know, line up and go at it for three or four plays. So uh, just a great, you know, great fight and finish by both teams. Did you get any explanation on the two point play as to why the first one did not stand? Yes, I was told that uh, you know uh, seventy was was who they announced, but he covered up sixty eight is what I was told. So, Clarence, Mike, can you just talk about the, the running game? You're you know four men off of the so important. You got the ball back twice. Happy New Year, Clarence. Um, the, the the run game was clearly not the highlight of our. <coughs> Of our performance tonight, but uh, you know we had I think uh, probably six what tackles for losses. Um, so yeah, um, I, they 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 really overloaded the front. Um, you know we had we had some pull schemes that we thought we'd be able to get the ball to the C gap. Um, so uh, like I said, I, the, the pressure and and the overload defense was a was a challenge for us tonight. And conversely, you talked about the, the tackles for losses on defense. And conversely, you talked about the tackles for losses on defense and how your defense. Oh, yeah. No, I, I thought our defense played. Probably one of their better games of the year. Um, you know, I, I thought the situation uh, defense was was outstanding. Um, you know, the way they responded. You know, the takeaways. Uh, but boy, what an ebb and flow of a game. You know, um, I think it was in, in some ways weird, uh, just the way it goes up up and down. You know, like it. There's always a difference to a game, and I, I thought the momentum swings. Uh, I thought our guys did a really nice job. Keep they kept bouncing back. Cal. Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. You know, Dan likes to gamble and those kinds of things. So after the penalty, are you thinking he's got he's got to kick the PAT? So what, what is, what's 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 it like on the sidelines there? Well, no, I mean we just um, you know we took the the, the Kodak there in, on the first one, you know. So yeah, no, we're we're just you know coaching the game, you know. So, I mean, I um, you know I, I, when you're calling games, um, you know, in you know you practice all week and there's things that. You feel good about it, then the flow of the game goes. So I mean, it, they obviously felt good about their calls down there. So uh, you know, um, so you, I mean, you got to appreciate the the aggressiveness. Talking a lot about the offensive line with the, with the health issues. How do you mean? Obviously, you need to watch the tape, but just once again, guys having to step up when you lose. Oh yeah, the TJ went in there. Obviously, when Tyler went down, so uh, you know it was great to have Tyron back. You know, just to to see him battle to get back for this game is is, is huge uh, for us. But. Yeah, you know, I thought our guys, you know, handled handled a lot of defense today. Ed, Ed Werger, ESPN. Could you um, express your thoughts on not being able to close the game out after you got the Donovan Wilson interception and why uh, you, you you threw on second down and stopped the clock? Well, I, I think the the thing there is, you know, I'm trying we're trying we're trying to put it away. I mean, obviously you call plays you feel good about, um, but you know, first down was a struggle for us. All day, I can't tell you how many second longs we had, and the, you know the penalty on first down. I I, I got to see it. I, I just can't, um, you know. But yes, I, I'm I'm trying to still, you know, get, get in striking distance on third down. So that was the thought. And, and is this something winning this game the way you did a tight game all the way through? Kind of game you really haven't played much this year. Can you? Could you use this as a springboard momentum going forward oh, for the man, playoffs? We need these games. I mean, I think that you're going to be battle tested and ready to go in the playoffs. You know, th these are the kind of games that, you know, character, um, you know, is is enhanced and you know the adversity advancement that you need and you train all year for. And you know, we've we've had a bit of an unusual year. You know, just because of the, you know, the, the margins of victory uh, at home. And uh, so yes, uh, this this you know, then we got we got one more next week and. But we knew this stretch was going to be rough, and uh, this is exactly what we needed. Uh, Mike CD's performance tonight. Have you been around, around a lot of great receivers? I don't know if is it, was that night up there with some of the best you've oh, seen. Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's huge. I mean, just a big touchdown play, um, and, and his yards after the catch. He's so dynamic 
with the football. Um, you know, I, I think so much about receiver play and you know how these guys, you know, the route running, the connection, you know, with Dak compared to in the past. Uh, you know, those two guys have taken taken it to another level. Um, but I, I don't know how many I don't know how many yards you had after the catch, but I mean, it was I know it was a bunch. And uh, so, yeah, just a complete, complete receiver. Uh, can you talk about Dak's play, not blinking after the certainly early interception, um, and you know, and then doing really making a, you know, making a guy miss and, and throwing a deep pass to CD, kind of what he did throughout the game. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it was a huge play in the game. You know, I think it, uh, one of the longest I think touchdown passes of the year. But yeah, I mean, Dak is you know is such a competitor, um, and like I said, I, I thought the pressure was there's a there's a lot you know a lot of it and. Um, you know, he just, you know, he, and that's how he always is, to be honest with you. He just, he just keeps playing. So uh, that's a, it's a huge strength of his. You've been telling us for weeks you're not looking around until you get 11 wins. You got 11 wins. We'll be watching the game tomorrow. You will. Just okay. Yeah. Jeff Gold with Fox Sports Coach. Uh, with this win tonight, like you said, going 8 at home, 8 0 at home this year, can you talk about the importance of possibly still getting the opportunity to have a home playoff game? Well, definitely. I mean, that, that's what you play for. Uh, obviously, we play well at home, but uh, you know, we love playing at home. But you know, I do think being on the road the last couple of weeks is you know we'll be we'll be ready for you know whatever comes our way. So, uh, but yes, I mean, we're eleven wins, and it's clearly what's in front of us. You know, with uh, Philadelphia has two left, and we have one left. So we'll just see how it all shakes out. And then Brandon Aubrey, I think thirty-five field goal kicks made in a row now. Can you just talk about? What kind of confidence that gives you to have a kicker? Kick like I mean, that? along with CD, uh, you know his performance. I've never seen anything like it. Um, you know, just the, his consistency. You know, not only just on the field goals, but the kickoffs. You know, he's. I mean, he looks like he's practicing his field goals on the kickoffs. I mean, it's uh, just so so impressive. So impressive. Yeah, uh, Brandon Cooks, uh, obviously a guy you identified as somebody you wanted to go get last year. Didn't happen, but you did get him this off season. Continues to make huge plays. In, in clutch situations, I think tonight was his third time. He's had a fourth, th fourth, fourth quarter touchdown catch mm -hmm. to put you a ahead. Uh, just the significance of being able to have a number two receiver of that value. Uh, uh, definitely. I mean, he and he does so much more outside of the game. I mean, I mean, this is a, a, a very well respected you know player and man uh, in, in our organization. Um, you know the. the Respect that he carries in the locker room, his work ethic, um, you know, his give back to the younger players. Um, so he's all about, you know, he's he's won enough in his career and knows knows what it looks like, and you know, just wants to be a part of another championship. So, and he brings, he's just so consistent, um, and and obviously that you know the seven route down there was a was a huge huge play for us. Uh, Mike, the defense on the last drive, you had the stops after you took the lead. What happened on the last drive that they were able to get down the field pretty quickly on you? I mean, they hit a couple over the middle. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's you know, we're you know, I, I think just based on the coverage and the clock and so forth, you know, um, you know, I, I think they, you know, the tight end, you know, dr dr you know, drag us for a little bit more yardage. So. And then, did you any word on Tyler Smith? Uh, by I, not, I have not made it to the training room yet. Sorry. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. Sir. Thank you. Congrats. Happy New Year. Thank you.